around 2008 or 2009, the, the, the recession hit uh, California pretty hard. A lot of the resources that we had are, uh, really started to uh, tighten up. But more than that, we had these rolling pink slips that were happening in San Francisco. So every March, uh, teachers invariably would get pink slips as a layoff or a potential layoff. This isn't just a San Francisco issue. This is a social justice issue for all our children. Before Prop 30, when I received my pink slip and I need to pack up my whole classroom, my students were crying, the parents were upset. Um, it was traumatizing for all of us. Before the passage of Prop 30, my job was not secure. I had actually taught in eight different uh, eight different sites in six years. Major cuts in uh, 2012 where we had a reduction of hours. Some of our people got reduced. Some got laid off. Some went into forced retirement. I went from a 12-month full-time employee to a 10-month uh, employee. During the Great Recession, I lost about 15 to 20 percent of my income. There was a lot of impact on my classroom during that time. Um, it's hard to go into work with a really good attitude knowing um, that you may not be there or that you won't be there. Um, especially those horrible March 15th letters, the way they put, you know, very first paragraph, you know, your services are no longer necessary. This is my sixth year of service to my district, and this is my March 15th letter. I want every California voter to know the impact that this will have. In many years when we organized, um, a lot of the parents came to the rallies and the protests, and a lot of our parents came and wrote letters to uh, Governor Schwarzenegger, and, and they really stood up for us. Defunding California schools started before the Great Recession. It really started way back with Prop 13. Part of it was also uh, policy decisions that the state has made over time, uh, cutting things like the corporation tax uh, fairly consistently since the mid-1990s. We also compromised the ability of the system to keep up with needs. This budget deals with the $42 billion deficit, which is the biggest deficit that we've ever had. New polling out by the California Federation of Teachers found overwhelming support, 67%, for a higher tax when it hits anyone making a million dollars or more. In response to the crisis, CFT and its community partners built a movement for a millionaire's tax to save schools and services. We showed through mass actions and opinion research that we had enough popular support to win against competing ballot measures. That's when the governor called CFT President Peshtal to talk. Governor Jerry Brown has stopped collecting signatures for his original ballot measure to raise taxes. He's now focusing on a new tax initiative, which is a compromise between his original plan and the tax proposal from the California Federation of Teachers. The Californians overcame decades of anti-tax sentiment and approved the first general tax in 20 years. So Proposition 30 is a unifying force. And we had to overcome a lot of obstacles, we overcame them. So we were in free fall, so Prop 30 stabilized the situation. Stabilized the situation, and in fact, there, there have been some gains. The eight furlough days that we had to take back, we, we have those back now. So teachers are working more, students are in school more. Some of our classified employees have been restored to partially to where they were in 2012. Some of them went back to 100%. And some of them are still sitting at around 80 and some of them are at 90 percent, uh, including myself. Prop 30 has made a difference. It's, it's made a big difference. It restored several of the classes that I, I had previously taught and it's meant that it's no longer the case that students have to wait around for the classes that they need. There's a lot more say at the site level of how we're going to be using our dollars to best serve our children. Whether they be English learners or from very low-income families, the money essentially follows the student. So opponents of Proposition 30 often made the argument that uh, jobs would be lost, millionaires would leave the state, companies would move away. If Proposition 30 passes, California will have the most crushing tax burden in the United States of America uh, by a long shot. Barry Broom is actively recruiting chief executives from California companies and luring them to Arizona, a land of lower taxes. What we've seen since Proposition 30 was passed in 2012 is the state has added 1.4 million new jobs and we have 10,000 more millionaires than we had when the measure was passed. What this means is, at a minimum, there's really no relationship between raising taxes like we did with Proposition 30 and economic growth. And if anything, the evidence points to the alternative, that it might actually be good for the state's economy. 
The personal difference that Proposition 30 made for me is stability for my family. My family, I'm the breadwinner of my family. I no longer have to worry about whether we're going to be able to make rent or the car payment or how we're going to pay for the daycare. If we lose the uh, revenue that we've been getting generated out of Sacramento because of Prop 30, I feel that the classified employees will take another significant hit like we did in, in, 20, in 2012. What we're seeing in the economy is that the wealth is even more dramatically concentrated in fewer and fewer hands, those with the highest income levels. Uh, so, ma so maintaining some higher tax rates in order to to make sure that the state's systems are supported is good policy. I think it's fair to ask the richest taxpayers to pay a little bit more. In fact, I think it's absolutely necessary because they're benefiting from society as a whole that we all pay into. Please vote yes on Proposition 55. Vote yes on 55. Vote yes on Proposition 55. Vote yes on Prop 55. Help our children thrive. Yes on 55. Help our children thrive. Yes on 55. Thank you everyone so much. Give a huge round of applause. Let's make this happen. Let's pass this in November. Prop 55. Help our children thrive, yes on 55.